I wonder if I should knock or let myself in. I beg <laughs> your pardon. You're a fish. Oh, shouldn't you be in water? I am a footman. Yes, of course you are. I should have realized. I have an invitation for the Duchess from the Queen to play croquet. But I'm not the Duchess. That is evident. This is her house. Oh, then shall I knock or will you? There's no use in knocking for two reasons. First, I am on the same side of the door as you. That's true. And secondly, they are making such noise inside, no one can possibly hear you. How am I to get in? I shall sit here until tomorrow. Or possibly the next day. But how shall I get in? The question is, are you to get in at all? All the creatures are so contrary around here. It's enough to drive one crazy. I may sit here for days and days. There is no use in talking to him. He's perfectly idiotic. I'll go in myself. If it please your... your duchessness. There you are. Have you brought the invitation from the queen? But I'm not the fish. I mean, the footman. Then why are you here? To sample my soup? I'm looking for... A, 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 a Jew! There is certainly too much pepper in your soup. Nonsense. <laughs> there is no such thing as too much pepper. I must put more in. Here, hold the baby. If you wish. Oh, my, what a beautiful, big baby. He needs to be nursed. Sit over there by the cat. You have a cat? I do love cats. Duchess, would you please tell me why your cat has such a huge grin? It's a Cheshire cat. I didn't know that Cheshire cats always grinned. In fact, I didn't know that cats could grin. They all can, and most of them do. I don't know of any that do. You don't know much, and that's a fact. I have in my mind a great many things. If everybody minded their own business, the world would go round a good deal faster than it does. Which would not be an advantage. What would happen to day and night? Oh, don't bother me. Look after the baby. I must get ready to play croquet with the Queen. How wonderful it must be to play croquet with the Queen. There, there. Don't cry. I'll look after you. And don't grunt, either. That is not the proper way to express yourself. What am I to do with you? I certainly can't leave you here with breaking plates and too much pepper. And I can't take you home, for you might not get on with Dinah. The only thing is to set you down and let you make up your own mind. It's probably for the best it left. If it had grown up, it would have made a dreadfully ugly child. But it makes a rather handsome pig. Ah! Cheshire Kitty! Can you tell me which way I ought to go from here? That depends a good deal on where you want to get to. I don't much care where. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. So long as I get somewhere. You're sure to do that if you walk long enough. What sort of people live about here? In that direction lives the Hatter, and in this direction lives the March Hare. Visit either if you like, they're both mad. But I don't want to go among mad people. You can't help that, we're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know I'm mad? You must be, or you wouldn't be here. Do you play croquet with the Queen today? Oh, I should like it very much, but I haven't been invited yet. You'll see me there. Just like that. Into thin air. 
I'm not surprised she's gone. I'm very much used to odd things happening. By the by, what became of the baby? It turned into a pig. I thought as much. Should I wait for her to come back? I suppose not. Let's see. I've seen hatters before, so I shall head off in the direction of the March Hare. And perhaps, as this is May, it won't be raving mad. At least, not so mad as it was in March. Did you say pig or fig? I said pig. And I wish you wouldn't keep appearing and disappearing so suddenly. All right. I'll do it slowly. Tail. Legs. Body. Head. Well, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but I've never seen a grin without a cat. Grin.